What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to Serial Productions. We have some updates on Captain America 4, Captain America Brave New World, and finally, some Wolfman, you guys. Ryan Gosling is no longer attached to be playing Wolfman for Blumhouse Studios. Christopher Abbott has officially replaced him for the film, along with the director as well, you guys. Apparently, you know, uh, during the strike or whatever, there might have been some kind of creative differences, but they have both left the project. Leigh Wan Nell, you guys, the director of The Invincible Man, is going to be directing Wolfman. I'm excited about that because he did a wonderful job with The Invincible Man. So good how they modernized that story. I cannot wait for Wolfman. My anticipation for Wolfman, which will release... Next year in October, I believe October 25th, it is going to be a banger, you guys. I can't wait to see how they're going to handle Wolfman. And if all this is going to tie in into a bigger universe with the whole monster universe. We know they tried to do it with Tom Cruise. It failed drastically because that movie was all about Tom Cruise. It's just, you're dealing with these classic, iconic monsters. Put some respect on their names. I like that they're kind of going in the direction of modernizing these characters. They've been around for so many years, you guys. I want to see a culmination. I want to see a whole universe with these characters. I know um, Guillermo del Toro is doing his own Frankenstein. Will that kind of be connected into this? I don't know. It's a different studio that's handling it. But that would be so exciting. I want to see it. I really do. I, I want to see a culmination of these monsters on the big screen together. Like the Monster Squad. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Monster Squad. Classic movie. So good. Wolfman's got nards, you guys. <laughs> I cannot wait for this Wolfman movie. My anticipation is extremely high. I'm really curious to know... If they're going to go the Rick Baker route, Rick Baker is an extraordinary talent when it comes to prosthetics and, you know, animatronics. If you look at American Werewolf in London, that werewolf transformation was amazing. It was no CGI, you guys. None. None. Everything was animatronics. And I haven't seen a better werewolf transformation ever since. Yeah, technology has gotten so far advanced. They use and incorporate, you know, CGI. It just doesn't feel right to see the hair move and the fingers grow and the, the face. It just, it was so good for its time. So maybe they'll go that direction. But Wolfman is a very different design. He is. He is still kind of a man. So his transformation isn't going into full, like a full-blown werewolf. It's like, you know what I mean? He still has, you know, the body of a, of a man, essentially. So I'm, I'm pumped. I know Benicio Del Toro did his Wolfman a couple years back, which got a lot of flack, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. I liked the design. Um, I'm just excited, man. I can't wait. Give me more monster movies. More monster movies, please. I'm so enthusiastic about it, you guys. I can I can talk about this shit all day long, but I'm excited. You know, Christopher Abbott, I'm not really too familiar with his work, you know, but they got the director from, you know, The Invincible Man. We are in good hands. We are, if you guys haven't seen The Invincible Man, please take time out of your busy schedules and watch it. The way they modernized it, the whole technology and the story Everything was just so good. It came out literally, I believe, the start of the pandemic of like 2020. Yeah, 2020, I believe so. That was like in January. I remember because I went to go see that. And then I went to go see Bad Boys for Life. You know, it's, it's it came out during an unfortunate time, but it was so good. So good, so good, you guys. Moving on to Captain America Brave New World, you guys. Look, I'm excited for Captain America 4. But boy, oh boy, this leaves me so worried. We all know that Captain America 4 got pushed back damn near a year. And they were supposed to do reshoots starting January. But they hired the writer from Moon Knight to do additional scenes for the film. Now, I'm like, ooh, okay, the writer from Moon Knight. Moon Knight was cool. How was the action? Action was dope. The hand-to-hand -hand combat was, you know, on par. Nothing like Winter Soldier. Nothing like Captain America Civil War. But it was still good. So maybe they're like, okay, can you come in? Please rewrite these action scenes. Make them feel like Captain America Winter Soldier. Make them feel dope and exciting. Because 
It just feels like all in all, this whole movie is being rewritten and reshot because of the lackluster scenes, action sequences that it has. It's Captain America 4 with a whole bunch of hulks. Why is this movie so lackluster? What happened to the story? It is that much more worrisome, you guys. It really is. And maybe they're taking some characters out. Maybe they're like, okay, we don't need all of these hulks. Let's dial it back a little bit. But, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to see what happened with Captain America Brave New World. Like I said, I'm still highly anticipating it because I love Anthony Mackie. I love Sam Wilson. I love, you know, his tenure in the MCU. I love his relationship with Steve and Bucky. I love Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So good. One of my favorite Disney Plus shows. One of my favorite projects post, you know, Endgame. But, like, you know, I, I really want him to do justice. This is his first time being Captain America on the big screen. And you have to live up to the hype. You have to fill the shoes of what Chris Evans did with Captain America with his tenure in the MCU. It is so incredibly important. If this movie is lackluster, boring, and not good, then by all means, you got to move on from Captain America with the, you know Sam Wilson. I just I feel like they need to be sprinkling his presence in the MCU much more. He's Captain America, you guys. Let the fans know, let the world know that Sam Wilson is Captain America. It is so important. It's going to be interesting, you guys. Um, there are reports stating that reshoots probably won't happen until maybe mid-February-ish. I don't know how long, how far along they are with the whole rewrites of the script, stuff like that. Now that they hired the writer for Mood Knight, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? You know, I just hope it hits its release date. And, you know, Marvel and Kevin Feige are really reassessing everything and, you know, taking this shit serious. And, like, look, we can't be putting out stuff that's not on par with the Infinity Saga anymore. We need to up the ante and make this shit work. Deadpool 3 is in good hands. We are in good hands, you guys. Trust me when I say Deadpool 3 is going to be a banger. I'm excited, you guys. But let me know what you guys think about today's topics. I know it's only two topics of Captain America Brave New World and, you know, Wolfman. I cannot wait. God, I can't wait. I'm so excited for Wolfman, you guys. I can't express enough how how pumped I am for, you know, for Wolfman and how they're going to modernize it. But I, I'm, I'm really hoping it's, you know, what? I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Wolf. Was it Wolf? Is it Wolf with Jack Nicholson? If you haven't seen the movie Wolf, I think it's called Wolf. Go watch it. It's it's a long ass movie. You know, I just rewatched it a couple months ago, and I was like, "Why is this movie over two hours?" <laughs> but Jack Nicholson plays he plays you know this werewolf, and boy oh boy, I'm like, "Yo, Jack Nicholson low key could have played a Wolverine back in the '80s because the way he looked at Wolf, spot on." But let me know what you guys think. Post your comments down below. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for watching Zero Productions, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.